questions? Dylan, was this the most complete game the offense played, um, considering the opponent and the defense you're going against? Yeah, yeah I, I think so. I think from the start, um, Jacory with the kickoff return, and then kind of from there, we were rolling, and, and when they stopped us, uh, we just knew it was our fault. Um, you know, snap infraction here, uh, false start to get us off of, you know, our, our plan. So it was, it was exciting. Um, it felt good to finally put it all together. Um, but, you know, it kind of kind of starts now to get ready for, for next Friday. And, uh, what did you think of the way that Emmett and Ja'Cory uh, played out there today? It seemed like every time the ball was in their hands, they did something special. Yeah, those guys have been special all year. Um, you know, it's just my job to get them the ball in space. And, like, you know, you saw it. Ja'Cory. Ja'Cory gets the ball in space. He's dangerous. Emmett does. I mean, all our guys are. They all have different skill sets that they're good at. Um, so uh, it's just trusting them, trusting the system, and, and, and getting the ball in playmakers' hands. What are your emotions towards the seniors who get to play a postseason game now? Uh, I honestly have no words. Um, you know, told them in the locker room that, that this win was for them, and it really was. Um, we couldn't. We couldn't, we wouldn't be here without them. You know, they went through the ups, the downs, and the highs, the lows, and, you know, to kind of break through for them, um, it, it was special. Dylan, coach said this is the last time that they'll be celebrating six wins around here. What, what is, what, what do those words leave you thinking? Uh, playoffs next year. I mean, as simple as that, yeah. Dylan, when they cut it to 37-25, yeah, just ran your offense like you've been doing it. Did you like that? It felt like you, you, you didn't go into a shell mm -hmm. or anything at all there. No, I, I loved it. Um, I actually went over to Coach Rule and asked him what we were, what we kind of wanted to play, um, if we were going to, you know, kind of just play our offense and and uh, or go for a minute. And um, I'm glad we did. Um, we, we played really loose, played really free tonight. And uh, our guys, our O-line did a tremendous job keeping the pocket clean. And, it was fun. It was fun night. You seemed confident after the USC game. You said you'd win this game. Mm -hmm. What made you see that this could be a really good week for the offense? Yeah, uh, I'm a big vibes person. And uh, when I came back in the locker room, even though we lost, uh, I just got the vibe like, yeah, we're about to take off. Um, and I say that humbly. You know, we got we got another another game here, and then and then the bowl game. So uh, we got to keep growing, keep improving, and and I think we will. As a freshman on this team, how have you seen you and Ja'Cory grow throughout the season? Um, I said we just followed the lead of the leaders – or the seniors, sorry. Uh, I mean, we – you know, like I said earlier, we wouldn't be here without them. They – you know, all spring, all summer and fall camp, they, they just showed us the ropes and we kind of just followed. And um, to be where we're at now, um, you know, it's, it's exciting, you know, for this program and for this state. You run it that way. How much does that change the way the secondaries have to defend the pass and, and respect the run more? Yeah, we, we kind of go from one dimensional to we can do whatever. Um, so it was good. We got we got rolling. Um, Emmett made some guys miss. O line was moving people off the line of scrimmage, and and um, yeah, you know it was a it was a well well put together effort from from everybody and, and the coaching staff and the players. What's that, what's that rhythm feel like? When you when you when you catch it and you start moving downhill offensively like you did, maybe late second quarter all the way through parts of the third parts of the second half. Yeah, uh, honestly, it's it's fun. Um, you kind of can just call whatever on the sheet, close your eyes and call whatever, and and we have to just execute it. Um, it's kind of been our thing all year, and and we're a play here, play there, away from you know what we did tonight. So I think those little plays that we missed in the in the past, we made those plays tonight and. Um, you know, you see the results different. Sixth grade, the last time the Huskers made a bowl. Like, I, I know how much this means to your family. Mm -hmm. You know, your decision to come here. You know, just what does it mean to accomplish that goal for this program with with all that in mind? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of, you know, like I saw my mom. She started crying, and I was, you know. Just, just wanted to give her a big hug. I didn't really know why she was crying. I was like, oh, you know, just come here, mom, and give you a hug. But, um, yeah, it's special for our family, uh, for this program. Um, you know, this this program has been so much means so much to our to our family. So, uh, to kind of pull through, break through, whatever you want to call it, um, it, you know, it meant a lot for for us and in, in this program. Some confidence and comfortability with Dana Holgerson following last week's game to this week. Yeah, um, kind of just got on the same page. Um, you know, I, you know, he he made he made things simple and um, kind of went out there and uh, just trusted our execution and um, 
yeah, he, he gets in a groove and he gets going. So um, we feed off that energy and, and we keep going. So, um, you know, we're blessed to have him on our staff. All right. Thank you. Thanks.